Hey guys, it's Andrea and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hey, I'm Andrea and this is my channel, Always Andrea. For today's video, I am going to be doing something pretty different than anything that's ever been on my channel before. Something that most people probably don't know that I even think about, um, if you know me. And it's something that some people might not really like believe in. I don't really know, but I kind of believe in it. I'm a very open-minded person. I try to be my own person and explore different things and trying to figure out who I am still, I guess. So one way I do that is by saying open-minded. And so today I'm going to be talking about the different signs that can show you if you are a psychic or have psychic abilities and my personal experiences that I think are psychic or have to do with being psychic. So if you guys are interested in this, then just keep on watching and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up so that I know that you like it uh, and then I can do different kinds of videos that are like this as well. I don't know if you have ideas, let me know in the comments below. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to talk about is just the different signs that can show that you are psychic or have psychic abilities and how to kind of look out for that. I think this can be open to a lot of people, if not most people, being psychic and having psychic abilities. You just have to kind of be open to it. And I could be wrong, but I feel like, you know, I've heard from people before that the more you are open to letting this stuff happen the more it will actually happen so yeah for right now I'm kind of that's what I'm kind of doing there's some signs that can show that you're psychic and I'm I have like 10 here this is the top 10 that I have seen most when I did research so the first thing is they say that you will have a tingling sensation or pressure between your eyebrows which is where your third eye is uh, I know some people don't believe in third eyes or don't like really know what they are I personally don't really know too much about them and I'm not gonna explain that in this video really because I, I don't really think that I've been having that like I would know probably so this one doesn't really resonate with me but it's just like where you're picking up signals and so yeah uh, the second thing is you have connections with spirits uh, this could mean that like they're angels spirit guides or even loved ones that passed away I believe that they are angels that are talking to me personally I mean that's just what I have believed ever since I was younger and I'll get more into that later when I talk about my experiences but yeah so you kind of like can feel connection with different spirits the next one is a desire to be away from negativity so that you might like pick up on others feelings really easily I personally am like this and always have been like this like I'm a very sensitive person anyway but I can usually pick up on people's energies as well and sometimes if people are negative and they cause a lot of drama it does like drain me like I just I can't do it I usually like I'm really really one worded with those people and try to just avoid them because I just don't want into that the fourth is a desire to eat healthier it says that healthier foods keep you healthy and do not weigh your body down which allows your body to um, have more energy and to kind of like pick up the vibrations of other spirits or whatever easier the fifth thing is the desire to learn and to be spiritual this is something that I have recently really been interested in was um, wanting to learn more about it all which is kind of why I'm making this video I have been seeing a lot of videos and I've just been having a lot of weird experiences lately and it kind of has been making me want to learn more about it which is kind of like why I'm making this video like I said the sixth thing is vivid dreams um, it says there's during the day you kind of have resistance and you're able to like stop yourself from thinking some things and letting things happen but when you're sleeping you don't have that resistance so you kind of like think anything which allows you to dream anything so I heard that it's like good to keep a dream journal which I think I'm gonna start to do because I have very vivid dreams a lot of nights like the past few nights especially I've been having vivid dreams so I'm gonna keep a journal just because like you're able to kind of see what thing things mean sometimes in dreams so that's something that you can do and may start to do the seventh thing is you have a heightened sensitivity of senses um, they say you might see like a twinkle out of the corner of your eye or your hearing might heighten or something like that like your senses 
your physical senses senses become more heightened so an example would be like sometimes I will see something like a shadow or like a figure or something out of the corner of my eye and I'll turn it's like not there I don't know if that has something to do with it or not but that would be kind of what they're talking about the eighth thing is intuitive hits and in other words like you have an intuition that something's gonna happen you no know, you feel like there might be like something bad gonna happen um, and then all of a sudden like there is a car accident in your town or something like that you know what I mean like you feel like something like that's gonna happen before it actually happens and it does the ninth is you will get headaches um, they say that this is just common whenever you're dealing with psychic abilities and stuff because of the energy and it's just moving around a lot and such and the last sign that you could be psychic is you may may lose friends and start to make new ones this they say is because the universe is kind of like you know you're listening to the universe and letting the universe kind of like do things so that's kind of allowing the universe to put new people in your path and then you know you're gonna get rid of the old friends because you're kind of like developing new abilities and stuff i don't know and you just want people that are the same as you to be around yeah guys that's all the signs of being psychic and like some things that could happen um not all of them but just the ones that i have researched so now we're gonna talk about my experiences because this is like freaking so long so i have like a lot of things um i don't know like i'm just telling you guys what i think so you tell me what you think in the comments below one thing that is so like it happened so much to me that I actually had to look it up because I did not understand what was going on is a lot of times the minutes say 51 um, and I was like what does this mean like why do I see this number so much on the clock like it's so weird and I looked it up and I'm pretty sure like it says it has to do something with angels so that's interesting to me because like that could be a way of like something trying to talk to me or like I don't know, but like the number 51 has to do with angels and like spirits like that's kind of interesting to me My second thing is that I'm it's just kind of interesting to me that I'm curious in this right now and that everything is happening to me right now Like it makes me want to just know why and I feel like maybe there's a reason that it's happening right now also, I've been told by multiple people that Whenever people enter the room with me, they feel like a sense of calmness I'm just like easy to talk to and like it, the room is just like at an ease which I just thought was so interesting as well so also has to do with like the 51 thing and the angels thing I've been in three car accidents in my life and I wasn't hurt in any of them one of them was on the highway in the winter time like two so it was it's just like really interesting to me like I feel like there's like angels that have been watching me like my whole life and the last the last thing that I want to talk about is there's three different experiences that I want to talk about that are kind of like weird I don't know if it's like premonitions or what but yeah I'm just gonna talk about these three other experiences quick number one this was like really weird I was at the gym I just started going to the gym maybe like a few weeks before this and this particular day I was listening to Ariana Grande a lot like I was listening to a lot of her songs while I was like on the treadmill and stuff and I like before that I really didn't I, there was like one song I would listen to but like that day in particular I listened to like five or six of her songs and then that night I got home and on the news it said that there was a bombing at her concert in Manchester and I just thought that was really really weird it was almost like a premonition that like something was gonna happen with her and like I thought that was really really weird <laughs> let me know if you think that's weird in the comments below the next thing is that one night I was driving to get groceries and as I was like pulling into the parking lot I was like thinking about my dad for some reason and I was just like I wonder what he's doing and I got on Facebook literally at that exact moment and my news feed popped up and the first thing that popped up on my news feed was my dad that he my dad was boating on a lake and it was just really weird because I was thinking about that and then as soon as I got on it it showed me exactly what he was doing like so freaking weird and then the last thing which I literally was shook whenever this thing happened it was maybe a week ago if even I was on YouTube looking at the clevers YouTube channel and um, it was Lily Marston and she was talking about McDonald's dessert hacks 
And one of the dessert hacks that she talked about was apple pie McFlurries and how like you take apple pies and the ice cream and mix it together to make McFlurries. As soon as that was done, I got on Instagram and one of the first posts that popped up was this girl that I like that is in my hometown and how she said you need to try this local restaurant because they have the best apple pie shakes ever and I was just like why are we talking about this same thing within like two minutes of each other in two different social medias in two different states two different parts of the world that is so freaking creepy to me I don't know guys that's my video for today. I had to make this because it was so interesting and I wanna know what you guys think in the comments below. Yeah, like this video if you liked this idea or you liked the video and don't forget to subscribe. It is the red button down below. I'm still trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. I know I haven't uploaded in a while but I felt pretty motivated to do this video because it is super, super popular right now. A lot of like psychic videos, like more paranormal I guess. But um, yeah, so I just thought that I would do this. But yeah, guys, I will see you in my next video. And thanks for watching. Bye. For today's video, I'm going to do something. So the first thing is. Um, sorry. <laughs> okay, so you might be like, okay, oh my goodness, like. You may have like a feeling that I don't know like I'm not good at thinking of examples on the spot I will see you guys in my next video and thanks for watching bye bye thanks for watching bye